Hi, this is Kenny Xie speaking. I'm from the Department of Energy Engineering, National United University. In this unit, we're going to talk about the Tafel equation. The Tafel equation is a simplified but warm equation. It only considers one of the reversible reactions. That means that mean only consider forward reaction or the backward reaction and it's become a tougher equation. Let's see previously from the Butterworm equation. Uh, over here we plot the we plot the over potential, electric over potential against the current over here. So this one uh, you got a two turn over here. The, when the i greater than zero, that's the green one, and then the i equal to zero, the oxidation reaction in the second term is a, use a blue uh, curve to represent that. And then overall reaction uh, current can be expressed on the left diagram. Over here you can see uh, when at the high over potential this region or this region, we can neglect this reaction or in this region we can neglect this oxidation reaction. So in this region we can use another simplified equation to express what happened over here. This means we ignored one of the turn here. Let's see, when the over potential phi minus phi r is greater than zero, it's positive. That means over here, um, phi minus phi r is greater than zero. Since there's a negative sign over here, so this term can be neglected if this value is very large, only this term will be exist. So this equation can be simplified into this equation. We only take this term into consideration. And then we take logarithm on both sides. And this one become, um, can be simplified. This is called a Tafel equation if I take, take logarithm. Because uh, over here, I had to note, you had to notice the first, the current is take absolute value. Because as we mentioned before, the current may be had a reduction or oxidation. The current value may be positive or negative. It's just memory, um, just talk about the direction or reaction. So we take the absolute value to uh, avoid that this may be a negative value over here. And the other thing is this had a 2.3 or 2.303. This because that we take this log is a 10 base logarithm. If this one's a natural log, actually this should be taken as a natural log. But then we convert into the, um, uh, the log with 10 basis, then that's a 2.303 over here, the, the pre uh, coefficient over here. This is uh, when the uh, phi minus phi r greater than zero is uh, only the backward reaction, oxidation reaction is predominant. We can wrote in this direct, in this way. So the phi uh, again, this one will be uh, increased as the current density increase, the potential will be increased. On the other way, when the phi minus phi r is negative less than zero, then this one negative times negative, this one become positive, and this term can be neglected. So if when in this, in this case, the second term be neglected, and is a reduction predominate. So this one we can uh, take a look again on both sides. We end with this uh, Tafel equation. Over here, the, the electric potential, as the current getting bigger, the electric potential reduces because over here there's a minus sign here. From the Tafel equation, actually we're able to calculate or estimate the exchanging current density and then the charge center coefficient. That's in the early uh, literature, usually they plot a Tafel plot and then try to figure out the reaction kinetic parameters. So if you plot the electric potential against current density in the log uh manner, then you end with uh, two 
straight line. The one line uh, is uh, for the oxidation because the phi uh, against log i is a positive. So this oxidation reaction. And the other one will be the uh, reduction reaction over here. When they intersect, that's mean the oxidation equal to reduction. This one, uh, the at the equivalent potential. This will be at the equivalent potential over here. And uh, the intercept here also is a, you can get the exchanging current density here. And, in, and the, if you know the exchanging current density, the slope that you represent, you can get the uh, tafel slope. We call the tafel slope. The slope over here, you can from here, if you know the temperature, you're able to calculate your charge transfer coefficient for the backward reaction or from the slope here, you can calculate the charge transfer coefficient for the forward reaction. So the reaction parameters, uh, the reaction kinetics parameter can be calculated if you plot the tough plot and get the exchange current density and charge transfer coefficient. There are some other expression of the Tafel equation. Um, this one, you can put uh, these two terms into together over here for the uh, oxidation reaction or for reduction reaction. You can put these two terms together. You put the exchange current in. There's another uh, expression for the Tafel equation. Tafel equation, uh, we, actually, 